sun shall be Emmanuel by Sears foretold Most highly favored maid My 
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in claws and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Two shepherds as they watched by night appeared a host of angels bright. Behold Tender babe, they sit in yonder lonely manger.
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. Get a little loud with this one and uh, get ready, okay? Sing along with us. Here we go. Angels we have heard on high. Sweetly singing are the plains. And the mountains in reply. Echoing their joyous days. Clap along with us. You can be louder. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just the they had been told. Thank you. 
treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. from the stump of Jesse, from 
his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of power. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. a child is born to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace flesh, Emmanuel, God with us, like us in every way, the creator of the universe, able to be comforted by the warmth of a human breast and soothed by the gentle lullaby from the voice of an earthly mother. Oh, Lord. 
There is a place where someone has testified, What is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor and put everything under his feet. In bringing many sons and daughters to glory, it was fitting that God, for whom and through whom everything exists, should make the author of their salvation perfect through suffering. Both the one who makes people holy and those who are made holy are of the same family. So Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters. He says, I will declare your name to my brothers. In the presence of the congregation, I will sing your praises. And again, he says, here am I and the children God has given me. Bring the lights up just a little bit, thanks. shepherds lately knelt and kept the angel's word 
I come in half belief a pilgrim strangely stirred but there is room and welcome there for me but there is room and welcome there for me I find him as they said Sweet newborn babe How frail and in a manger bed A still small voice To cry one day for me For me A still small voice To cry one day Oh, 
What child is this? What amazing story has just been told? God made man? Heralded by angels? Revealed in text? Skin that is at the same time human and divine? Born for both Jew and Gentile? Offered to you and me? Why? The very reason Jesus became like us is wrapped up in the conflict that lives buried in our own skin and bones, just like the people before us. The fact that our mouths both praise and curse, that our hands both nurture and kill, that our desires teeter between controlled compassion and outright greed and lust proves that we are at war inside. Our skin battles, and at any given moment, we change what side of the war we are fighting for. Jesus' skin was also at war, but every time he fought, he won. Oh, Mary's lap 
anthem sweet while shepherds watch our keeping. This, this is Christ our King, who shepherds guard and angels sing. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might destroy him who holds the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. For surely it is not angels he helps, but Abraham's descendants. For this reason, he had to be made like his brothers in every way in order that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in service to God, and that he might make atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Place 
chase the stars Reaching for the virgin's warm embrace A word that once was spoke Gathering waters cries into the night Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the peoples of the earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I 
am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Lo, he comes with clouds descending, once for every sinner slain. Thousand, thousand saints attending, swell the triumph of his train. No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. This is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man.
But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire. And the earth and everything in it will be laid bare. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire. And the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth the home of righteousness.
I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And among the lampstands was someone like a son of man, dressed in a robe reaching down to his feet and with a golden sash around his chest. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand, he held seven stars, and out of his mouth came a sharp double-edged sword. His face was like the sun, shining in all of its brilliance. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead. And behold, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. <laughs> 